So we have this quick mass conservation problem where 0 0.2 meters cube per second of water, the flow rate, flows into the pipe and then splits off into a T-junction where the other pipes are 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters, as shown in this diagram. And we are also given the velocity of the water in the 5 centimeter pipe is 25 meters per second. And our question is, what is the flow rate in the 7 centimeter pipe? So some quick things to note about flow rate. The formula for flow rate is Q equals to V times A. Q stands for flow rate. V stands for velocity of water. And area stands for the area of the cross section. In this case, it's a pipe. So the units of flow rate is meters cubed per second. For velocity, it's meters per second. And for area, it's meters squared. Another thing to note quickly is that the mass conservation, the topic of this question, says that if you have some inflow here at section 1, you expect the outflow at section 2 and 3 to equal the inflow of section 1. So in equation terms, this, this simplifies down to Q1 equals to Q2 plus Q3. So now you actually have everything you need to solve this problem. So let's start with our nouns. We know the velocity at section 2 and we know the area. So Q2 equals velocity times area. Velocity is 25 meters per second. And since area is a pi cross section, it will be pi r squared on 4. So this is 25 times pi. And we convert centimeters to meters because our velocity is in meters. So times 0 0.05 on 4. So this would give you 0 0.0491 meters cubed per second. So now that we have Q1 and Q2, we can find Q3. So Q3 equals to Q1 minus Q2. Q1 is 0 0.2 and Q2 is 0 0.0491. So the flow rate in Q3 is 0 0.151 meters cubed per second. So this question was actually pretty short and simple. The only tricky part is understanding the mass conservation. And as long as you understand this, you can solve basically any flow rate mass conservation problem. If you just remember that the inflow is the same as the outflow. So the outflow has to equal the inflow.